there, fellow fish keepers. It's Mike here, and I'd like to welcome you back to the fish tank barn. Uh, today we've got a pretty exciting video for you. Got another box of fish in. So, really excited to open these guys up. So I'm expecting three different species to come in today. I ordered these from Dan's Fish, so definitely check out Dan's Fish on the Get Gills webpage. Um, I'll go ahead here and put a link to the Get Gills page in the description, as well as Dan's Fish's YouTube channel. So definitely uh, ordered from Dan before. Uh, stuff's always been excellent. So let's go ahead and pop the box open and uh, see what we've got. All right, so let's go ahead here. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the box open. All right, got the styrofoam. All right, let's go ahead and uh, pull this out. All right, so we've got rice fish. We've got one, uh, that's one Indian rice fish. So let's go ahead and uh, get all these guys out. Another rice fish. I got a male. bags of rice fish so we're gonna get those guys uh, turned loose all right so the next fish we have here uh, is another limia species so this is the humpback limia uh, limia nigro fasciata so a couple pairs of those Actually, I misspoke. Um, there's only two species. I forgot. I, at one point, I had put guppies in the cart, and then I had changed my mind and added a whole bunch of um, rice fish instead. So we're going to go ahead, and we're going to take the limias first, otherwise known as humps. We're going to take, we're gonna take our humps. Take them on upstairs. So let's go ahead and head on upstairs. All right, uh, we're gonna go ahead now and get the limias floated here. I did go ahead and get the rice fish from downstairs as well. I uh, do have both of these fish floating in a 29 gallon aquarium. So let's go ahead and wait a few minutes, uh, let them temperature acclimate, and then we'll go ahead and get them uh, popped and dropped and ready to go. All right, I do have my uh, bucket here ready. Got my net ready, so let's go ahead and start flopping and dropping. Uh, we're gonna go ahead here and start with the uh, humpback limias. So, first bag is gonna get opened up here, put it into the net, and let's go ahead and we'll do the rest of them. are now safely in their new home, so let's go ahead now and grab the rice fish. looking at the Limia nigra fasciata. Uh, so it is a couple days later now. Uh, these guys are happy and healthy in their new tank. Uh, did change some of the rock work and plants around in here. 
But uh, all in all, they're doing pretty well. Uh, so before we head on to look at the rice fish, I do want to tell you a little bit about this species. The Limia niger fasciata does come from the island of Hispaniola. which is Haiti and the Dominican Republic. Uh, this fish does get to be about uh, three inches long or so. Uh, you can tell the males apart because they do have the um, humpback once they become adults, as well as the gonopodium. This fish generally does well in a 20 gallon tank. Uh, one thing I have found with limias is that you do need to keep them warm. I usually try to run a lot of tanks here in the fish tank barn uh, without heaters and just heating the room. But I found that the limias generally will fall apart if I don't keep the temperature up with them. So I uh, do definitely try to keep the temperature around that 78 degree mark. They do spawn pretty much like your um, any of the other guppies, platies, sword tails, etc. They'll release uh, their fry out in about 30 days or so. And uh, they do quite up, come out quite large. And just like the platies, sword tails, uh, mollies, etc., they are pretty easy to raise. All in all, I do find this fish is a pretty peaceful fish uh, for your planted tank. Um, I just wouldn't keep them with anything um, that is a similar species like a guppy or anything like that to avoid any hybridization issues. But generally, limias are one of my favorite fish, and definitely a fish that's pretty underrated here in the hobby. So let's go ahead now and talk about the Indian rice fish. Uh, the Indian rice fish is native to eastern and southern India. Uh, can also be found in Sri Lanka and Bangladesh. It does come from a variety of different conditions. Uh, you can find this fish in brackish conditions, all the way to acid mangrove swamps, and everywhere in between. Adult specimens of this fish uh, can get about two inches long and are happy in a 15 to 20 gallon heavily planted tank. Uh, feeding wise, this fish is a micro predator in the wild, while in the aquarium, we'll eat a variety of properly sized aquarium based foods. From a behavior aspect, this is a generally peaceful fish, uh, good for community tanks with the right size tank mates. Uh, suitable tank mates for this fish would be some of your smaller Danio species, Pseudo McGill rainbow fish, as well as your Caridina and Neo Caridina shrimps. Uh, however, I would not recommend keeping this fish uh, with other rice fish species due to the risk of hybridization. Rice fish are prolific spawners, spawning every few days when in good condition. Uh, spawning is usually early in the morning, with the fertilized eggs being deposited among the vegetation or other suitable media. The incubation period of the eggs is about one to two weeks, and that's dependent on the temperature. The fish will ignore the eggs, but will readily eat any free-swimming fry. It is recommended that you do incubate the fry in a separate rearing container. Once the fry are free-swimming, uh, they'll readily accept baby brine shrimp and microworms. This is a fish I am excited about. I do want to work with the rice fish species and uh, get some rice fish going uh, in the breeding setup here for the fish tank barn. So I'm really excited to have these guys and really excited to get them going. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. It was a lot of fun opening up these fish. Uh, really excited to have the Limia nigra fasciata back again in the fish room. Uh, the species I really wanted to get going. Uh, fortunately, the last time I had them, they got a little bit too cold. Uh, fell apart on me a little bit, so I'm excited to have them back for sure. Rice fish seem to be kind of an up-and-coming fish uh, in the hobby here, so definitely want to get some bred up and get them out to some of my fellow hobbyists as well. So, it's been a lot of fun. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. So, that being said, uh, if you have not subscribed to the channel, uh, go ahead and check out some of the videos that come here at the end. If you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscription button, notification bell, so you don't miss any of the other updates on the channel. So that being said, stay safe out there, stay fishy, keep on breeding, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.